Hey guys, my name is Lloyd Zwok. I'm a guide up here at Mesaw Lake, Northern Saskatchewan, and I'm going to show you how I debone a pike. Most people do not like pike because of the big Y bone and the rib bone in it. So I'm going to do a technique where I'm gonna take a fillet off, excluding the rib bones. So I'm gonna end up with a fillet. I'm then going to uh, make some cuts and remove the Y bone, leaving you 99% bone free meat. First of all, make a cut like this. Then I go down the back of the pike, right along the spine, right to about this thin right here. I then go through and just bring my knife right to the end. You have a flap like this. I then take the fish and I run that blade along its rib bones. You're gonna start to see the rib bones and it's away from the meat. So I'm just gonna continue doing that all the way along. I've got no rib bones. However, if you follow the white line, you're gonna see the Y bones. I take my knife and I go on top of the Y bone as such, and you can actually feel the Y bone. Your knife will go tick, tick, tick all the way along. Again, everything about angles here, run that knife along top of it. Tremendous advantage having a high quality, flexible knife. So if you come in here, you can actually see those Y bones. I then run my knife along basically the center line of the pike, saving as much meat as you can. And you can actually see my knife through the meat. Just keep moving it. So this is what you're ending up with. These are all Y bones, very minimum waste on this fish, and it is 100% deboned. Today I was using a Benchmade fish crafter made of MagnaCut steel so it stays sharper for longer so you can fillet more and sharpen less. It features a nine inch upswept tip blade for easy cutting on big fish as well as small. Features the Benchmade Select Edge technology and what I most like about it is the handle that stays grippy even when it's wet and slimy. So the next time you're looking for an option for shore lunch, give Pike a try. And if you need any information on the knife I used today, it was high quality, very sharp and effective. Please visit the links below. I'm Lloyd's Walk and stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.